Hi, this is Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Jim. Jim. Hey, how are nice you? you? Your last name? Vandermeer. Vandermeer. Let me grab the cameras. I usually do. Thank you. And uh, let's take a look. Jim, hang with me for a second. Sure. What do you have here? Come right with me. Uh, I'm going to actually do this with Jim. First of all, let's take a look at Jim's shirt. <laughs> That's the way you do it. The Army and the GTO. Okay. How did you get this, Jim, this car? Uh, I saw it on this. eBay. eBay, again, can yep. be our friend. Wow. What kind of color is this? Uh, it's Sebring Yellow. Sebring Yellow. i got to show people this nose because usually these noses have cracks in them, and this doesn't. This thing is just spectacular. And how long you had it? Uh, I just got it in November. It was the car that I had in high school, so same kind. Same kind of car in high school. Let's get a shot of the side of it, all the way to the side. Okay. And what are some of the factory options that you have on here that, that we wouldn't expect? That's beautiful. Probably the most unique thing it's got on it is it has uh, power disc brakes, which is a rare option back then for an expense of $60 at the time frame. Yeah, right. Okay, that and, was a good that was a good pull. And then it has variable ratio steering and the, uh, the hood tack, which is uh, the most popular option that the dealers put on. And then it also has a, uh, a rear spoiler also. And a rear spoiler. Let's take a look at that rear spoiler. Kind of little mirrors. And let's look at this rear spoiler. The spoiler is great. Come with me, Jim. So you had this in high school? Yes. Yeah. When I graduated high school in 1969, I bought my first GTO. And this is a good one. Yes. Yeah. Front and rear stabilizer bars on these. And that was the first GTO that had that. Let's let's open that up. I'll let you open that up for me. I'll make sure I'm doing it right. And these are the standard. It, it's an automatic. Yep. That's the way it was. Everything in it would be standard except the uh, steering wheel, which would be a different color wood. Okay. Kind of the neat uh, dashboard uh, that you've got there. Let's just see what those gauges are. A wash, and you've got a standard tack. Yep. And then it has the rally clock on it, but as is all with clocks back then, they don't work anymore. Yeah, right, 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 right. And the wood wheel was original? Uh, not this color. The original one would have been teak color. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. And there's our our back seat that the GTO is actually, you could use a back seat. And then, of course, on the far side, the GTO emblem. And really nice interior. Look at the door there. That was a nice little feature, is the, the GTO there in the in the door, because there's not much that says GTO inside it. No. So let's let's uh, let's open up under the hood. And what's it featuring here under the hood? This has a uh, 400, uh, which was the factory. It's a numbers matching engine. It's a 400 four barrel, and currently it has an Edelbrock on it with a Holley. 850 double pumper. Yeah, it's got a little upgrade. And then the uh, uh, belt system's been upgraded to a serpentine system too. Okay. Like a modern car. So we got an upgrade there. And everything looks really good. Let's, uh, let's shut that hood. The American flag there. Jim, let's have you stand next to your car. That looks closed. Jim, thanks for being on My Car Story. No problem. Thank you.